Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video um, about how Camerabag Cinema, our new color correction and uh, filtering software, works with LUTs. So a LUT is L-U-T, that's a lookup table. Basically it's a quick way to do a predefined color adjustment. It's also kind of like a universal filter format um, that allows you to uh, to uh, view the same filters in other software or on uh, cameras themselves. Um, so for example, where you'd use a LUT, uh, usually you want to, when you're shooting video, you want to shoot in a different color range than how you want the final video to look. So for example, this footage here that you see, um, it's in Ari Alexa's log C range, which is much more washed out and low contrast than, uh, than what you would want in a final edited video probably. Um, and so LUTs make it easy to convert from the color range you've shot in to the color range that you want the final footage to be viewed in. Uh, so with this very flat footage uh, in this log C format, um, Ari on their website provides some pre-made LUTs that quickly convert from this format to more what you'd want the final look to be. Uh, there's a color space called Rec 709 that's sort of the, the broadcast range that, um, that most the, the you'd want for broadcast footage. Um, so Camerabag works with the cube LUT format, um, and we may well add more formats if people want others, but let me just show you how simple this is. Uh, I've got this dot cube LUT, and I just drag it in, and it instantly applies all the adjustments to uh, bring this footage um, to that more uh, contrasty, saturated look. And I'm just hitting space bar to preview this to see what it looks like uh, with this LUT applied. And let me just render out a little bit of that. And let's see how it is from there. So you can see it's like a, an instant easy color adjustment. Um, so this is just like any other adjustments in camera bag cinema in that uh, it's put down here as a tile and you can see it here it refers to where the file is located. Uh, but I can also, I can layer on other adjustments on top of this so if I wanted to increase or decrease the saturation or whatever or adjust the exposure. Um, and I can drag things around. Uh, I can drag this, this LUT around just like any of these other ones to change the order that things are applied in. Um, another nice thing is that it's really easy to fade the effect of this LUT. So it has an amount slider that I can just drag up and down uh, like this. Um, so I'm, I'm using this here to convert from this log footage, but uh, LUTs can also be based on more stylized filters. Um, and it's a format that makes it easy so if you design a filter in some other software then you can export it as a LUT and easily use that in camera bag or vice versa you can de design something in camera bag and then export it as a LUT uh, whether it be a stylized thing or one of these color space conversion things um, and then you can use that in other video editing software or on a camera monitor that supports LUTs um, let me just show you quickly how to export a LUT from Camerabag. Uh, let's say that I wanted to uh, design my own uh, filter to convert from this log footage, so I'll just put a, an S-curve on here, and then maybe add in a little bit more saturation. Um, so it could be any filter, any filter that just adjusts colors. If you do things like vignette or film grain, those things don't work in the lookup table, the, the LUT files. Uh, those only work for direct color conversions. But say I've got this color conversion or any other that I've done and I want to export it, and just come up to File, Export Filter LUT, save it as uh, My Log Converter, and then it uh, it exports that LUT file, and then you can use that in uh, whatever, like I say, other software or cameras, uh, uh, whatever supports LUT files. Um, so that's it. Very simple. Uh, give it a try. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll be releasing Camerabag Cinema very soon. Thanks.